Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Super Retro Rallycross Championship final race here at Lydon Hill. Four laps to determine who our champion of this round is. On pole position then, it is indeed Joss Sturkins. Then in second position, we have got ourselves John Cross. And then we have got James Harold out there in third position, but has showed some unbelievable pace this weekend. And I would not be surprised to see that car really put a show on for all of us. This is going to be an incredible race. Eight cars here, four laps, no jokers. Can the Renault 5 make some advancements, though, from all the way at the back of the grid in sixth position? So Paul Pasco there in P8. And then we've got the Porsche of Barry Stewart in the middle at the back there. Who's going to come out on top here? The marshal lets them know that everything is good, everything is ready. We're going to have the ready to race appear in front of them, and then it will be green lights. Four laps here at Lydon Hill. Who's going to come out on top? We are green light racing, and oh, John Cross has not got off the line at all here. His terrible start then. As we head then down in towards turn one, Chesson's Drift for the first time of four. And it is a fantastic start then from James Harold, who leads the way here with Josh Sturkins just in behind. And as you can see, Phil Collard is already... P3 is a wheel missing! The VW Beetle has lost a wheel here. The wheel is still traveling in the background. Oh, that is heartbreaking for the, for the Volkswagen Beetle. The wheel is still traveling in the background. We, we hope that's managed to stop and, and you know, hit a fence. John Cross, of course, not got off the line as well. Not been a fantastic start here at all. And Sturkins then has indeed taken the lead of this race. As we head then through that final chicane. And across the start finish line, Josh Sturkins still leads the way. Phil Collard then in second position. And Ray Morgan, who had a very, very good semi final, is in P3. Six cars then battling it out here on lap number two as they head up towards where that Volkswagen Beetle is indeed parked. And through the devil's elbow, we will come. Again, there will be double yellows being waved there, that's for sure. And that Beetle is so, so unfortunate there. We are going to see a potential move here by Paul Pasco. Oh, a little bit of a shove out wide there on uh, Ray Morgan. Ray Morgan's going to be, yeah, not the happiest with that kind of maneuver. That is for sure. But ultimately, the move is done. Ray Morgan then tries to sort of dig one into the side, but gets a little bit too close. But here we go. We've got a proper battle for the lead. It's Josh Sturkins versus Phil Collard. They're on lap number three then of four. And who is going to come out on top here? Just Durkins. Looks like he had a, a pretty poor lap, actually, on the last lap and gave Phil Collard an opportunity. Phil Collard is going to try and take that opportunity here. But we know that Sturkin's car has got some serious grunt to it. So we come through the devil's elbow. One and a half laps remaining here. Collard still in P2. Started P6 uh, on the grid as well. So, yeah, incredible stuff from them. <laughs> wow, we see Morgan come through. Ray Morgan back up to P3. And he says to Paul Pasco, whatever you can do, I can do better. And look how close it is then for the lead of this race. I feel like this is going to go down to the wire. One lap then remaining here of the Super Retro Rallycross Championship. Through that final chicane we come. And it looks like Sturkins then has got a very comfortable lead here. Seems like the second half of the circuit, Phil Collard is just able to close in in that number 37. And actually, if anything, Ray Morgan putting the pressure on to take that P2 away. Sturkin's looking really nice and comfortable now. Up the hill, he will come. And I tell you what, look at Morgan. Although Morgan just lost out a little bit then in terms of acceleration. Up the top of Harry Hill we come. Ray Morgan there getting into two wheels effectively, grabbing loads of curb. Down the hill they come. Down to Panic Bend for the final time. And it looks like Josh Sturkin's... Without any mistakes then coming towards that final chicane, we'll take the chequered flag and the victory here. It will be Phil Collard in second. And it will be Ray Morgan in third spot in fourth position. And it's going to be Barry Stewart. So not great for the Volkswagen Beetle. That is a massive amount of damage. 